Welcome back, Air Tennis uh, fans. The Australian Open has just concluded. Uh, Novak Djokovic does beat Tsitsipas 3 6 and 6. Uh, and he's a master at court positioning, controlling the middle of the court, opening up the court down the line, uh, and so on, um, that he utilized here in the in the final against Tsitsipas. We're going to outline these key factors uh, utilizing in the Tennis Essentials feature of the Air Tennis app. We have a hologram tennis court here. We're going to discuss this in a bit more detail. Our YouTube player, we pulled in some clips and created chapters on the uh, on the left here that jump to certain sections. Um, so one of the things we want to take a look at, and we'll, we'll make this player a little bit bigger here so we can really take a look at it, um, is hitting three feet inside the, the baseline and from the sideline that both these players are doing. So as you see here, they're keeping great margins, okay, three feet or four feet, whatever, inside the baseline and sideline. Um, trying to outposition their opponents and then trying to open up the court okay so when i work with my juniors okay i try to instill this we have on our, our courts here we have the red ball green ball lines or red ball orange ball lines better said that we utilize for the kind of the, the wide markers three or four feet from the from the sideline but these players are hitting this area here okay Cross court, down the line, okay, moving the opponent line around, trying to get court positioning. So a lot of times juniors, when they try to move the point, they'll try to they'll lock up cross court backhand. They'll try to burn a backhand down the line, um, like on the line. You don't need to do that, okay? You just need to move the player, and you need to try to get court positioning here, okay, rather than um, trying to, to burn a ball like right on the line or too close. What happens is, especially playing outside, the wind – kicks up okay or whatever happens and you miss it wide a couple feet gets nervous at the end of the set and that ball doesn't doesn't find the line it goes out by a couple inches or so so that's one thing i want to instill here these guys are hitting three four feet from the sideline moving the player around okay one thing that novak also does well the other players that at the top here does is the plus ones okay so as you see here just a review. So plus ones in tennis is serve out wide, hit to the open court, um, or serve down the tee, hit to the to the backhand side. So basically trying to get ahead of the rally right after the serve, if you're using it from a, a serve perspective. Um, so well, some juniors uh, take this uh, to the next level here, and they try to serve out wide and, and just hit a haymaker to the open court. Okay, when I work with the with my juniors, I try to instill the fact that. Um, the whole goal of hitting um, the plus one is that you just get control of the point. Okay, so I serve, if Novak serves out wide like he did, okay, pulls CC Boss here to return, gets himself a weaker ball here, which is what he wants. Okay, he came in on this, obviously, but he doesn't have to come in. If he does here and just goes back in across, okay, he's going to get himself positioning here. He's going to pull CC Boss over here. And then he's going to um, remain, remain in control. So his goal here, after he pulls CC Pass over, is that based on what CC Pass does, okay, um, he would move move accordingly. So if he goes, if CC Pass goes down the line in the backhand, he would pull over. He would go cross, okay, pulling CC Pass over here, right from here, okay. Now. I want to take a look at another clip that looks at this a bit further, which is Novak controlling the middle of the court. So if you take a look at this thing, uh, this clip here, there are a couple things I want to take a look at. Okay, one is the movement and counter movement that he does. So if we pause this, we'll explain it and we'll go back to the clip. So what um, Novak is doing here is he's moving CC Pass around, okay, and he's going to move in the middle of the court, three feet or so from the left to right from the hash mark, he's going to remain here, okay? And moving CC pass here and here in this position, in this particular situation. But he's controlling this middle of the court, is what we call it, and moving CC pass around. Now, in order to maintain that, okay, first he's got to move CC pass um, over. So if he starts with this plus one concept we just talked about, where he serves. Okay, over here, let's say, pulls CC Pass out wide, 
goes backhand cross after he gets kind of a neutral backhand like he did in that one point here. Okay, he's moving him. Okay, here. Allows him to set up here. Move CC pass over. Okay, got it. Okay, from here, um, he's going to move and counter move based on the positioning of CC pass. So CC pass goes down the line in the backhand, let's say. He's a couple steps and he's right here. He can go cross court, pulling him all the way over here. Okay, and based on how far his cross court ball is, let's say it's right about here. Bring CC pass about here ish. He's going to line up here, kind of right in line diagonally with uh, with him. Okay, it allows him if CC pass from that ball goes here, he can get here and pull it cross. Okay, and if he goes cross, he can get over. Okay, if he doesn't move when when CC pass moves, okay, and that if he pulls this ball wider on that forehand cross court, pulls him here, he's got to get to about here. Okay, if he doesn't do that and he sticks here ish, there's too much space here for CC pass. Now he can flip control by that, so he will go down the line, gonna flip control here pushes him here now he can float here and now that that court positioning has just changed now cc pass can hang out here controlling the court and push no back here okay so a lot of times at, at the top level for sure but at high level high level juniors as well as court positioning okay and who's controlling the middle of the court with their weapons which is mostly uh, for most players the forehand but novak's backhand's pretty solid so he's okay going backhand crosses here and breaking the ball, the, the pattern down the line. So as you uh, look at this this clip here, you'll see Novak moving, okay, while CC Pass is moving, just of course the error there. Okay, if we play this again, here we go. Uh, you'll see Novak's moving as uh, as CC Pass is. And getting himself in control of the of the middle of the court here, so it's called movement counter movement. We look at a lot of that in the junior side. These guys are, are masters at it. Okay, another thing that we wanted to take a look at here was um, court positioning, the forehand cross court. So the backhand return. Um, a lot of players, what they'll do is. Okay, when the return of serve is when I work with the juniors as well. Let's say it's a CC pass here. He's serving. He's serving middle of the court here-ish. Okay, and the backhand serve. Now, what some players that juniors will do is they'll run around, hit a forehand here, and try and burn this forehand cross court way over here. Okay. Now, what that does is he pulls his, his momentum is being pulled this way because he's in a forehand. Okay, um, and it's giving his opponent, in this case, CC Pass, if this was the case, a lot of room to pull here, pulling him way over here, and then CC Pass can fl float right here, or the junior's opponent can float here, pull him to the other side. Okay, and now he's running back and forth, and you've lost control of the middle of the court. Now you would see uh, Novak does, and a lot of a lot of players do is they'll take a backhand return on this, go cross on it to the big part of the court. But the backhand here is going to pull the momentum to the center of the court here, which we wants to be. Gives them better court positioning. Okay. And then here, same side on, on the do side. Okay. If uh, opponent, CC pass or whatever hits here. Okay. Maybe here-ish. He'll hit a forehand on this, okay, which takes your momentum this way here, okay? Pull into the middle of the court. If opponent hits down the tee, you would have to hit a backhand naturally. But that backhand, um, it's also, a lot of times, Novak goes inside out on the backhand return here. So he'll hit this inside out backhand here, pulling himself here, okay, pulling CC boss here. Now, from here, what Novak can do is Novak, in, if CC Pass goes, goes cross court, he can move and go down the line. Okay, if, if he goes down the line here on this forehand to kind of get ahead of the rally, he can move over, go back, he cross, pulls him here, and he moves, moves over here.
Okay. So, that's a lot of things we uh, wanted to kind of look at um, during, uh, during the Open Final. Uh, so, thanks for tuning in with us today. Um, utilizing the Air Tennis app, Tennis Essentials feature. It was a great Australian Open. Uh, we're looking forward to more great tennis and showing you more ways you can use the Air Tennis app to enhance uh, your high-performance programs at your academies or uh, your college programs as well. 